Hello, I'm Mark Warner and I'm a candidate for City Council. In the last six years, Northampton has implemented three tax overrides, a new $2 million stormwater fee, a new tax on restaurant meals, the 3% Community Preservation Act fee, and 40 to 50% increases in water rates, sewer rates, solid waste fees, and the hotel and motel tax. Now the city is biting its nails at Smith College and a dozen other tax-exempt properties will voluntarily agree to make big city payments in lieu of taxes. I don't think these actions were necessarily wrong, but the key point is they're at the bottom of our bag of revenue tricks. We have no choice now but to focus on the cost side of the equation. The council has a big role in this process. I know they do. I helped to write the new city charter that gave it to them. But it's not using this authority very effectively. In budget meetings with the mayor, they don't ask probing questions. And in council, they pin our problems on Boston or Washington or Wall Street. They take up cultural or international issues that distract our attention from real city business. Are these really our values? Are they making the effort to ensure informed decisions? I think we can do better. Let me give you my guiding principles on how the council should deal with budget matters. Take seriously your role of engaged oversight in the budget process. Promote efficiency. Be honest. Be fair to all of your citizens and businesses. You know, the council has often expressed its concern for social justice. I share this view, but here's the best thing you can do for social justice. Run your city efficiently and keep it affordable for residents at all income levels. The council will also have to set its own good example. It should accept the conclusion of the Independent Elected Officials Compensation Committee that it is unfair for part-time city councillors to have city-funded health insurance when all other part-time city workers do not. How do you think that looks to other city employees? What about their unions? The council decision last year to ignore the Independent Committee's recommendation betrays our values, and it undermines the council authority to ask for shared sacrifice from all city stakeholders. This will affect us adversely when city labor contracts come up for renewal. I'm delighted to be the challenger in this race. I invite you now to go to my website, warnerforcouncil.com. Look at my biography. Look at the core democratic principles that guide my sense of justice. Look at my clear stand on a dozen city issues. Look at my op-eds and letters to the editor. You'll see that I am sensible, that my background is consistent with the ideals of the citizen legislator, and that my views and values are consistent with the vast majority of yours. It would be my pleasure and my honor to serve in the City Council. I promise you integrity, conscientiousness, civility, maturity, and the good sense to focus on the real city issues. Thank you. I'll see you around town, and I welcome your vote on November 3rd.